Welcome to To Your Health. I'm your host, Rhonda Alford, and joining us, we have a very special guest today, Phyllis Peoples, President and Chief Executive Officer at Terrebonne General Health System. We're going to be talking about Terrebonne General's 70-year history and their legacy of health care. Welcome to the show, Phyllis. Thank you. Thank you, Rhonda, for having me. All right. Well, let's get started with you telling a little, a little bit more about yourself and your role at Terrebonne General. Thank you, Rhonda. We're really excited. This is our 70th year in business, and mm -hmm. I've had the opportunity to be in this particular role as CEO for um, 21 years. 21 years, but I've been at the organization, I don't want to say how long, but close to 30 years. So that tells you our heart and soul is, is here at the organization. Um, I've worked through a variety of different positions before I became CEO in 2003 and got to see a lot of changes and a lot of different initiatives within our community. And we're really excited about our celebration this year. Tell us a little bit more about the year we started, how things were, and how things have progressed through the years. Well, I wasn't here. However, it was 1954. <laughs> and in 1954, the organization started had less than 70 beds and probably about, mm, I'd say, maybe 80 personnel, uh, mm -hmm. if, if I can say that. And today we're a 321-bed facility, which employs about 1,400 people th throughout our organization and has a uh, staff of close to 450 physicians who help take care of our community. So it's amazing. We've grown. We've grown mm -hmm. since we opened. And I have to be very grateful for those who had the insight to begin Terrebonne General, which at the time was Terrebonne Hospital. And today we're a large health system. So again, um, we're real pleased. We're real pleased with how we've progressed. Well, you said you've been in your role for 21 years. Tell us what it feels like to be in that type of a leadership position at this organization. Old. <laughs> However, aside from that, um, when I came back, I'm originally from Homa. Mm -hmm. My maiden name was LeBlanc, so a lot of people don't know that. Um, I swore that we wouldn't be back in Homa, as, as all of our young people today say they can't wait to move and, and leave our community. But family, the Cajun culture, having children brings you back, and it brings you back with pride. Mm -hmm. And so that was a very big step for us, and we did. And it's been um, close to 30 years that we've been back. My son was uh, was about 27. My son was three when we moved back, and, and he's 30-something and a physician today. So we appreciate health care as we move forward, and my other one chose health care also, my other child, and so who was born here at Terrebonne General. Uh -huh. So we're real pleased, and um, it made us come home, and it's probably one of the decisions I never regretted. So tell us about some of the major accomplishments and expansions at Terrebonne General. Uh, Terrebonne General continues to grow. Some of our cornerstone um, that we offer here, of course, is cardiology, orthopedics, or women's health services, oncology, or our cancer center that continues to grow. Um, we have evolved in a lot of other services. We have in-house hospitalists. We have our pulmonologists, intensivists, who take care of our patients within our critical care areas. And then we've taken on being our community um, initiatives that we take care of our community throughout the region, um, whether we have expansive services in our radiology areas, uh, where we have our radiology clinic, we have physician clinics who have all joined our organization in addition to partnering with some of our physicians for some of our, our um, same-day surgical events and overnight. So it's exciting. You mentioned we started as Terrebonne General Hospital. What other ways have we progressed into now what we're calling ourselves? Well, I think we, we were the hospital in 1954. We kind of grew into Terrebonne General. I believe it was around 81. And today we're Terrebonne General Health System, which is 40 years later. And so um, we're real proud of all of those things. But some of the initiatives we've taken on, we have so many community partners. Mm -hmm. Today, Terrebonne General Health healthcare is something that kind of scares people. And what they forget is that the word healthcare means health. It doesn't mean just caring for you when you're sick. It means also caring for your health when you're well. And I think that the new generation or the, our younger generation has been raised in that kind of environment to recognize the wellness fast factors and things that we can do. And so we have really expanded in all of those areas. And you'll see as we kind of incorporate wellness centers and our mobile bus and different clinics and outpatient services that we continue to care for our community in the variety of ways people expect. Okay, so what can we look forward to the future 
for Terrebonne in general? Well, we'll continue to expand. We will continue to offer services in all the different arenas. You can see that digital is becoming very, very big. And also people's time. You know, as unfortunately COVID did uh, cross our doors and Ida, people learned though how to utilize, whether it was Zoom calls or telemedicine visits and the expectation, people have their phones. Our younger generation uh, utilizes phones for services and for care and things like that. And so to make care go to the person rather than the people have to come to us for care. And we're trying to be there for all of those things. And, and the world is getting smaller, whether you're going to college or whether you're here, you still have your care provider. And so are you is a phone call away or a digital, um, I guess, uh, login away. And so you'll continue to see us expand in all those variety of areas, scheduling things will become a much more digital initiative as we continue to grow. Right. Information at your fingertips. Information right. at your fingertips. That's a great way. Yes. All right. Well, what's the one main thing you want people to know, our community to know about Terrebonne General? Terrebonne General is an amazing place. And if you ask me, people who know me know that I, I really give my heart but everybody does too. It's not hard to lead when you've got such amazing people and physicians and community behind you. We partner with so many of our community members through the education system, through the school board, through the parish, through every single facet that we have in our community. And that speaks mountains for us. And so there's no one thing except to say we're family and we're gonna take care of you like family. And we're proud of that. For more information about Terrebonne General Health System and its legacy of health care, visit TGHealthSystem.com. Thank you for joining us on To Your Health. I'm your host, Rhonda Alfred, and I'll see you right back here next week.